Today I'm going to show you how to tie a Padnoster rig. Very widely used around the world and this is what it looks like. So everybody ties their Padnoster differently but with mine I start with a long piece of mono and a short piece. I've used different colours so you can quite easily see what I'm up to. So I take my long piece and it's all about trying to get this branch of line to come off at about 90 degrees. I then grab my short piece, I lay the two together like so with that little tag sticking out. Not far from there I make a loop and it is as simple as putting both pieces of line back through that loop about three times. Now this will vary depending on how thick your lines are, but generally three is a good guide. Once I've got them together, a bit of lubrication, a bit of spit, then simply pull that together, it's nice and neat. That'll pull up even better with a bit of lube. Cut my tag, which is this bottom bit. Leave about a centimetre, half a centimetre, just in case there's any pull. So you'll see now I've got that beautiful line, the orange line branching off my main line, the pink line. Where this thumb is at the top here, that's where you'd tie a swivel. Then that orange line, you put a hook on there, and my bottom thumb, obviously a bit further down, that's where your sinker goes. To attach our sinker, it is so easy. I just run my line around on itself, make a loop again, and then slide that main loop through twice. No need to go two times. Pull it up tight, and that is your loop for your sinker. Just loops off and on, so as the tide changes, you can change your sinker nice and easily.